just realized that uh, maybe stockpiling all of your stuff for a few months is not necessarily the best plan of action if you realize you're gonna have to review it at some point. Hey everyone, Brewmaster Bruns here. It's been uh, it's been a while. Been in Australia, I haven't been able to get my products to review. And as I was going through them, I realized uh, the unboxing experience in itself. Uh, a box for a product is not just something that holds it sometimes. Sometimes, if you have like a good unboxing, you'll think, wow, this, this company really believes in what they're selling. And if you have a really crappy unboxing, you'll realize like these people just want to cash off on making a quick buck. So I figured I'd go through a few, I'd go through a few of them and uh, see what everyone thinks about the unboxing process. So let's start off with a, what I think is an average unboxing. And it's just a set of headphones. You know, you gotta, you gotta go through it. It's got the sticker on the back. Cool. Take off the sticker, what's inside? Okay. So you got little bag of your stuff. Great, so they care enough to put your accessories in a different bag. And then the headphones itself come in their own carry pouch, I guess. And instructions. And if we just look at the headphones, I bet they're probably wrapped up in something too. I would be wrong. They they weren't. Well, does this count? Am I kind of right? But I think it's that's pretty fair. Like you know, it's a headphone. It's they're in a they're in their own bag. Everything's pretty standard put together. So uh, let's go. Let's go to our next one. I uh, missed the trend on this one. I guess I was over in Australia. I missed the whole entire trend. Got a, got a fidget spinner. So you can see it if I get rid of the glare. And uh, it's in a little window so you can see what it looks like. You open it up, it's got a little foam around it, and then woohoo, when people somehow find doing this fun. Ooh, spinning. So that's like another average product, I would imagine. So the first one I want to go over, I think is a bad experience. Is another fidget spinner. Uh, they, they, they went for the same approach of, of giving you a window so you could see, but they slapped a sticker on over top of it. And the sticker is just the Amazon barcode, and I don't know why. Some products you order from Amazon have these, others don't. Some of them have them in the stupidest places you could imagine, like this. But this one has a sticker, but they put it on the back. Because they understand, okay, if we're going to give you a window, this, this sticker does not come off either, like I, I tried. It's not one of those like nice easy stickers. But the sad thing is you open it up and it's a it's a pretty cool spinner. Like it's it's metal. It's got the specific cutouts for its shape, but they just didn't care and threw a sticker over top of it. And then when you get it out you can ooh wow fidget spinner. This is fun. People enjoy that. I don't know. Maybe I'm just not good at fidget spinning. I don't, uh, I don't see what's super fun about it. And then I have a, a third example. Second example. I can count. Of a, of a bad unboxing. And this, I don't know if this is, like, the mailman. I'd imagine it's probably the mailman, but if you're gonna put a product through the mail, you should make sure it can stand up to it. So this is, I think, the second item I've actually had from these people. They sell a bunch of MP3 players. And they come in this plastic container, but um, the, the sticker doesn't matter because the, the top is broken. So you can see here, it's shattered. It's shattered there. They, they wrapped it on the inside, which is fine and dandy, but when your outside case looks like this when I get it out of my mailbox, um, I'm going to go ahead and call it poor because if you're expecting to sell an item you want people to open it and, you know, appreciate the, what you did for your product. I mean, I guess they tried, but... And then, uh, I have two products, both from the same company, that remind me that sometimes an unboxing can be a really fun experience. So, you have this, you can see here it says, oh, it's a Thor horn. Okay, what the heck is a Thor horn? I don't know, but it comes in this nice burlap sack, and it's got the barcode thing. It's got the same sticker that the fidget spinners had, 
but this time they attach it to a nice cardboard that matches the burlap and a nice little cord. So, okay, you still have the same sticker concept, but you have a nicer bag, and you didn't ruin it with a sticker. And then you open it up, and boom, you got yourself the Thor horn. But, oh no, how do, how do I set this on a table? What do I, what do, I do? Well, that's cool, because they send you a, a stand, so you can stand it up. and then block your face out with it. But but you can tell that they uh, they, they respect what they're trying to do. They're, they're called Thor Horn. It's a horn. It's Viking themed. It's got burlap. So you think, wow, that's pretty cool. Well, they sent me another thing. I guess the brand is Thor Horn. It's appropriate that I got the horn first. But they also have a horn mug. Same thing, burlap. Burlap and twine. And most people would probably be annoyed, but I think it's a really nice tie-in. Yeah. Take out. And then of course you got plastic sealing it. I'm fine with that. And you got a, a second one. And I think these are both pretty cool. Like they're good conversation pieces. They're both supposed to be food safe. But this isn't even about the products. This is just about the unboxing experience. With with these, I've had a great experience unboxing them or un unbagging them because you can tell they they have a brand image and they're trying to do something with it. So they their name is Thorhorn. They're trying to go Viking. So they sell cups and stuff made of actual horns, and they give it to you in burlap sacks. It's very very theme appropriate. I like that. I really appreciate that. And then you have. Uh, these people who send you the mp3 player with the broken case the accessories are literally just folded up in a piece of paper which might okay it doesn't double as the instructions but they just fold your headphones and stuff into a piece of paper um, I got it and the case was destroyed so I'm not very happy with that and then you have the, the really cool fidget spinner with its own custom look and case and stuff. And then just slap a sticker over the window. So so some people, you can tell, they want you to have a good time unboxing the products. And other people, like these guys, will just want to cash out quick on, on making fidget spinners. And uh, I think it really does make a difference. I, you know, I, I only unbox a product once. I mean, I guess I'll probably put the fidget spinners back in here. But... It really leaves an impression. Thorhorn, I think, is a very cool company. Fidget Spinner High. Sp I guess. I guess that's probably the company name right there. Uh, I I don't like them because they decided to put a sticker there. The other one doesn't have a company, and it's just straight up barcode. And the headphones, I think, are completely reasonable. But I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Do you think that the unboxing experience? determines how you feel about a product or a company because I, I feel like uh, certainly it does and I unbox probably a lot more things than the average person I get sent a lot of things I probably have I guess over a hundred items downstairs and some things I have things from two different companies and they come in two very different boxes like some fidget spinners come in uh, the metal case with a window others just come in like a little cardboard box so it's very interesting to see I don't know if that's just because of the manufacturer, because I would imagine a lot of these products are basically ideas stolen from other people and just repackaged, which is probably why someone like Thorhorn, which owns their own name and has their own logo, probably can do this with, like, burlap, whereas, you know, this random Chinese company here just found a fidget spinner, said, oh, hey, we can make that too, uh, stole a hockey puck case thing, and was like, cool, look, we're going to make a bunch of money now. So... Let me know what you think down below. If you, if you think boxing matters, it doesn't matter. And uh, I have a lot of products now, so I'll see you soon with my next review. Till then, I'm Brewmaster Bruns. See you next time.